Hi friends, so we've got an interesting one today. I'm gonna to be hanging some gutters off the side of this carport here, just that side, because I've got a lot of rain coming down there and pulling up in this front patio. So I wanted to set up a water catchment system to deal with most of that water. And the first step with a water catchment system, at least for this particular situation, is a gutter. There's a little bit of a problem though. They only sell gutter sections in 10 foot lengths. And last time I checked, this little Honda Fit is nowhere near that length. So I call up Lowe's and I ask them, can I get a custom length of gutter cut there at the store? They said no. It's not something that they do anymore. They used to do it, but they don't do it anymore. Okay, so I call up Home Depot. Same thing, they no longer do it, at least these local stores. So I'm wondering, how in the world am I gonna get this gutter home? So you might think I'm just stuck until I can get a trailer or a 10 foot truck bed. I just have to wait, I'm out of luck. But I think I have an idea. Let's take a trip, shall we? everyone well I just got to Lowe's and it's do or die time uh, as far as my idea is concerned let's see what happens well my trip to Lowe's was a success as you might be able to see here I was able to fit these 10 foot sections of gutter into my tiny car. So I went into Lowe's and, well, I'm not too proud to beg. I asked them if there's any way I could cut these long gutter sections up inside the store and they still said no, that's not something that they can do. What did I end up doing? I ended up cutting the gutter sections here in the parking lot. So what I did was I took along these handy dandy tin snips and I just cut the darn things here in the parking lot and I made short work of them. Both of them are 10 feet long and I just cut them roughly in half. They don't need to be exact because I've got these little sealant strips that I'm gonna be putting on them to kind of join the sections. But either way, I've got five foot long sections of gutter that fit very easily here into my car. Okay, so this is an issue. I just got back home and some of the chickens are outside of the net. Did they fly out? They're following me around. Did they sneak through some of the fencing? This isn't good. There's been a dog that's been coming around on our property and I don't want these guys hanging outside of the fence. That's something I'll have to figure out, but right now I need to rustle them back in there somehow. I think my plan is to get some food. They always seem to know when I'm going for the food bucket and lure them back in with the food somehow. Turn the fence off, obviously, and get them back in. Maybe lift the fence. Let's see if it works. All right, chickens. You know exactly what this means, ladies. Come on. That's right. Okay, you're slipping out under there. It's right here. Yes. You got it. Come on. All right. One more. Isa Brown, you got this. Let's go. Come on, it's okay. You got this, let's go, come on. I need help, she escaped. They, they figured out a way to slip under. Can you come down and help me? Come on now. I've been trying to keep this up for her, but she's not buying it. Now, are they getting under when So if, no, yeah, when it's flapped out like that, they just slide right out even really quick, even when it's hot. Yeah, so I need to go in and tuck it all in. Do you wanna grab her? Okay. Come here. Come here. 
girl. It's a Khmer. All right, I'm gonna cut her off at the pass and maybe. Nope, nope, she's coming. It's a Khmer. It's a So I think what the problem is, is that when this fence is flapped out like this, the chickens can just scoot right under it and not get shocked. I think that's what's happening. And so what I'm gonna have to do is go around and tuck all of the fence in like that in order for them to, and see, it just kind of flops back over. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do here. Because once they learn how to do that, They'll just do it all the time and like with that dog that came over so i was gonna do the gutters today put that up but i think instead what i'm gonna end up doing because i'm hungry and the day is getting a little bit late is going through and flipping all of the fence under like this because like i said i think what the chickens are doing when the fence is like this they just slip right out they just push right out it's too quick for it to shock them. I think they need to be there for a second for it to shock them. So I'm just gonna go around this fence and fold out all of it and just hope that they don't do that again. That's it for me today, folks. If any of you have any tips or ideas about how to deal with chickens shuffling under their Premier One fence, I'm all ears. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, I got some other stuff going on this week. Uh, so stay tuned, got some big things happening here on the farmstead. See you later.